Welcome back guys, hope everybody's good. Um, so, I've had a little bit of a break from the videos, very sorry about that, but uh, real life again, kicking me in the teeth. Uh, my daughter has come down with the chicken pox, so uh, poor little thing, we've been giving her cuddles and thankfully she's asleep now, so I've been able to jump back in and um, play The Witcher, which is uh, what I've been itching to do. Sorry about the pun with chicken pox jokes, I'll try and, try and keep that... Uh, <laughs> to a minimum um any of my bad jokes that is so uh from memory i think i just had a quick look at my last video just so that i can remember what's happened uh we went and s we've spoken to his royal douchiness uh whoever this guy is uh because <laughs> uh, can you tell my knowledge of the witcher is on point um but yeah, he's basically, Siri has run away, um, is, is being pursued by the Wild Hunt, and he's asked Geralt to retrieve her. So I think we left off, we were in some new threads, but they weren't, it's not our gear, so we can't get any further in the game until we've spoken to Yennefer. So let's go. I do wonder if she's going to proposition us. Let's find out. Yes, then transcribe. True authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness mm. and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. In triplicate. Maybe that would have been better to begin with. I mean, if you're going to talk like this. <laughs> Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. All oh, right, here we go. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now, do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. So they're our agents now. Yeah, all grown up. Let's go with two. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Siri been seen? Yeah, let's go with that one first. So where has Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumours, but there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. 
Beatrice Merigold. Apparently, Tris. she's got a cozy flat on the main square. I'm sure she'll much. be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Before we part, why didn't you contact me earlier? Yeah. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Ah, uh, jealous. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? <laughs> Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. <laughs> Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. <laughs> Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt. I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. No. Oh. I shall be I waiting. I forgive you. <laughs> oh, God. Right, is there anything I can steal in here? Oh. Bye. I thought you said something about, you know, don't use any magic because they might find you. I think that was a bloody big magic spell. <laughs> nice. Alright, I think we've had everything. Okay, now we'll go speak to this dude. A shame I have no time. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Okay. Oh, here we go. How's the war going? <laughs> What's the situation in Velen? Look, do you know what? We'll start with one and work our way through. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. <laughs> our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Brotherless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. Cunning. And so by spring, Instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. That's a note of admiration I hear? That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. 
He played us for fools. Particularly dense ones at that. Cocky ones. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Mm -hmm. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now. Until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. <laughs> I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Okay. That was a long chat. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. Oh, great. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm-hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, Ugh. we've temporarily Swamps. delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling. A former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger. Better known by his nom de guerre. The Bloody Baron. Sounds charming. I advise you well. Avoid him. I'm a witcher. I'll poke him in the face with my pointy stick. <laughs> God, I've said that once before and it still sounds wrong. What's new in Novigrad? Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford. And the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly. And so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Hmm. So we've heard the dish on Velen. We've heard what's happened in Novigrad. Neither sound nice. What's the latest from Skellig? What's new in Skellige? Skellige. Nothing. <laughs> the islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome. But nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Okay. So that was a clever way of giving us the down low on what's happening on the map. I wonder if it's going to be a similar situation where we have to keep coming back to this map or use it as some sort of marker. I don't know. Um, I think you need to be careful when you call someone a footnote in history because exactly what Geralt has said. Never underestimate your enemy. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Well, he seems like a decent human being, but the last person I thought was a decent human being in this game ended up giving Ooh. somebody... Sorry, mate. 15 lashes for sending out rotten grain that they couldn't afford to give him in the first place. Oh, it felt nice to push someone else out of the way for a change. 
Right, let's go get our stuff from the Chamberlain. Is that servant still in here? Because if he isn't, I'm going to have another looty looty search. You sure he's not watching? I want to see what's in here. What shall become of Tameria? Anything here? No. Okay, it just looks like you're getting a load of books in here, but that's fine because I don't know if they're going to be of interest to anyone. Or something we can sell, which, considering how much stuff I need to uh, purchase or use in this game. Oh, a dumpling. They like a dumpling in this game. No, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, hang on, what's over here? They've already picked up double copies of that book. At least I think it is a sword for witches. So I'm sure I can sell that. Alright, let's go. That's how long how we've might been. I serve the gentleman by returning my things. Citrus and cloves. <laughs> Lavender. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, bunches. <laughs> the emperor Friends. is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. He's got so much more patience than I do. I saw you in Vizima. Oh, I don't know who you are. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ, this game makes me jump. And not even because of the uh, things I have to kill, but because every so often it goes, oh, in your face. Is that a quest? you mm. oh no I'm not doing that see you no, so if you want to play a game you can do that there no thank you um right let's get ourselves out of here there was a lot of talking there and I've probably included it all in the video so I might end up closing the video off here but I just wanted to see I wanted to sort of end what we've got to do in just, let's just quickly appreciate the detail here though guys look at this see I might end up coming back to the game after I've played it through for the YouTube just to because obviously doing videos I sort of like rush through areas that I'd normally probably explore a bit more. Um, but you know, you guys can tell me in the comments if you want me to stick around and have a look round. But trying to keep them down to 20 minutes is hard enough as it is. With my waffling. Hang on a minute. Oh, I change. Am I allowed to put on my stuff? I think I must be. I think I need to repair a lot of things too before I go hang on a minute yeah I th oh actually just because that's one armor less I get three percent resistance to burning in comparison so I think I have those on before anyway that's not too bad. I probably do need to upgrade a lot of my stuff, to be fair. Eleven. It's a shame. I was liking my boots. Uh, pants. My pants look. Yeah, see, look, my pants are really. 
Not even blue or green. Did get myself an upgraded sword though. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Still sword. And there's my silver one. I think those two I just picked up in quests but can be sold and dismantled, etc. Still don't know how to use my crossbow. Right. Let's go. In Kershaw, it's Dathwin oh. Adden in Kamen Now I look Mortald. better. Oh, switch to continent view. <laughs> now I'm in the continent. To return to the map of the region where you are currently located. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Standard. But we need to go here, don't we? It was Velen. Yep. Five, ten, sixteen. Likes. Right, okay, off we go. No Man's Land sounds fantastic. Hanged Man's Tree. Beautiful. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Cool Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Cool. Should have taken the teleport. Five days? Christ. This must be Hanged Man's Tree. What gave it away? Be bothered. Also, in a world where ghouls feast on the dead corpses of things, would you put people up on a tree and be like, come on then, have at me, evil spirits and ghouls? Okay. Thank you for purchasing the Hearts of Stone. Oh, yeah, because I've bought like the whole shebang. Currently tracked quest has been changed to the first quest of Hearts of Stone, yet we only recommend starting it if your character level is at least 30. Okay. A rune right. This new craftsman, the only of his kind, comes from far off land and can use his arcane knowledge to considerably improve your equipment. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, it came with blood and <laughs> It came with blood and wine. Welcome to the Blood and Wine expansion. In this mode, all the quests of the main storyline are still available to you. To begin playing quests from Blood and Wine, you must first complete a, po a Poet Under Pressure quest. I have no idea what any of anything else game. Thank you. Right. <laughs> In fact, before it all kicks off again, which it just did, and I don't even know what's happened. I'm going to leave that one there. <laughs> Getting a lot of information, I'm like, what does it all mean? So I will see what all that is about. I don't know what that was all about with all the different expansions I've bought. I assumed it would just let me naturally go through the game. I'm hoping it will and not shove me in a quest when I'm level like four that is meant to be for a level 30 character. <laughs> Please don't do that. Um... Okay, so we got a lot of backstory there, set the scene. We now have a larger map to explore and we're on the hunt for Siri. So yeah, I'm loving I'm loving the detail, the story, everything. I'm really impressed with the game. I mean, of course it got game of the year, why wouldn't it? So stay safe, <laughs> stay amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.